Hi, good day everyone. Today we will start to discuss the examples of redox reaction and today we will discuss change of Fe2 plus ion to Fe3 plus ion and vice versa. Well, ion is a transition metal so ion exhibit two oxidation number which is plus two and plus three fe2 plus ion is green in color while fe3 plus ion is brown in color so the oxidation number of fe2 plus is plus two and the oxidation number of fe3 plus is plus three If you can recall the rules of oxidation number, the oxidation number of ions will be equal to its charge. Okay, and since the oxidation number of Fe2 plus increases to become Fe3 plus, so that process is oxidation. And from Fe3 plus to Fe2 plus, the oxidation number of Fe decreases from plus 3 to plus 2. So decrease in oxidation number, the process is reduction. Now, in terms of electron, oxidation involves loss of electron. Or you can remember it easily from the word oil rip oxidation is loss while reduction is gain of electron so oxidation is loss of electron reduction is gain of electron so oxidation is loss of electron reduction is gain of electron and you can see in the half equation, Fe2 plus oxidized into Fe3 plus by losing electron. And Fe3 plus is reduced into Fe2 plus by gaining electron. Now, in order for Fe2 plus ion to undergo oxidation to Fe3 plus ion, Fe2 plus ion must react with oxidizing agent. And in order for Fe3 plus ion to undergo reduction into Fe2 plus ion, Fe3 plus ion must react with reducing agent. So Fe2 plus react with oxidizing agent, so it will undergo oxidation. And Fe3 plus react with reducing agent, so it will undergo reduction. Moving on, let's look at some example of oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Oxidizing agents are substances that will undergo reduction while cause the other substance to undergo oxidation. Example are halogen, acidified potassium manganate 7 solution, acidified potassium dichromate solution. Usually, oxidizing agents have high oxidation number. For example, manganate in KMnO4, the oxidation number is plus 7. And chromate in K2Cr2O7, the oxidation number is plus 6. High oxidation number will make this compound very likely to undergo reduction 
whereby the oxidation number of this substance decreases during the reaction. So because of this high oxidation number, these two substances are very common oxidizing agent. So all these oxidizing agent will react with Fe2+, so that Fe2 plus undergo oxidation. Now, reducing agent are substances that will undergo oxidation while causing the other substance to undergo reduction. Common example are metal such as magnesium, aluminium, zinc, halide solution such as Cl minus, Br minus, I minus, and hydrogen sulfide. So this reducing agent will react with Fe3 plus so that Fe3 plus will undergo reduction to Fe2 plus ion. Now let's look at some example of reaction to study about the oxidation of Fe2 plus ion to Fe3 plus ion. And here we have ion to sulfate solution which is green in color will react with bromine water and the bromine water is brown in color so 2 cm cube of iron to sulfate is poured into a test tube and a few drops of bromine water is added drop by drop then the solution is warmed gently after that A few drops of sodium hydroxide solution is added until excess. Moving on to the observation of this reaction. First, when we added, added the bromine water, brown bromine water, will decolorize. Oh, the color change is from brown to colorless. Second observation will be the solution, which is green, changes color from green to brown. The green solution contains Fe2 plus ion and the brown solution contains Fe3 plus ion and Fe2 plus is oxidized to Fe3 plus ions. And the brown bromine water is decolorized because bromine molecule is reduced to bromide ion Br. Minus. Now, we use sodium hydroxide to test the presence of ion 3 ion. When sodium hydroxide is added into the solution, red brown precipitate is formed. Which is insoluble in excess when more NaOH is added. So this confirms the identity of Fe3 plus in the solution. Now we will like to write the half equation of oxidation and half equation of reduction for the reaction just now. Fe2 plus undergo oxidation. So first you write first step is you write the reactant and product for both oxidation and reduction. So Fe2 plus is oxidized into Fe3 plus and bromine is reduced to bromide ion. So step one is done, you write the reactant and product. 
Step 2, we need to balance atom. So there are 1 Fe2 plus and there are 1 Fe3 plus. So the atom is balanced for this equation. For bromine, there are 2 bromine but there are only 1 bromide ion. So we add 2 in front of bromide ion to balance the atom. So now the atom is balanced. Third step, we add e electron. So Fe2 plus oxidized into Fe3 plus by losing electron. So we add electron on the product side of the reaction. Because we lose the electron, so electron is written on the product side. Bromine is reduced into bromide ion by gaining electron. So when we gain electron, electron is written in the reactant side of the equation. So add electron is done. Next is balance charge. So on the reactant side, Fe2+, plus, the charge is plus 2. On the product side, Fe3+, plus is plus 3. And the electron is minus 1. So that is plus 2. So both reactant side and product side, the charge is plus 2. So the charge is balanced. Moving on to half equation of reduction. The charge on the product side is minus 2. And the charge of the reactant side is minus 1. So we need to add 2 in front of the electron so the charge will be minus 2. The charge of this equation is also balanced. In order to write the ionic overall ionic equation, the electron on both sides of the reaction is equal. So electron on the oxidation side and the electron on the reduction side must be equal so it can cancel out each other. So the electron in reduction is two electron, but the electron in oxidation reaction is only one. So we must all the equation with times by two. So this electron is two electron, can we cancel with the two electron in reduction? This effectively means Fe2 plus lose two electron and the two electron is received by bromine. That is why we can cancel out the electron. So if you now we write down the equation again. So two Fe2 plus plus Br2. 2 Fe 3 plus plus 2 Br minus. So ion 2 ion is oxidized to ion 3 ion by losing electron and itself ion to ion x s reducing agent bromine is reduced to bromide ion by gaining electron and itself bromine as oxidizing agent. Moving on to our next example for reduction of Fe3 plus ion to Fe2 plus ion 
the reaction between iron to sulfate ah sorry iron three sulfate and zinc powder iron three sulfate the oxidation number is plus three so it will undergo reduction to Fe2 plus ion which is green in color so the procedure is similar 2cm of iron trisulfate added into a test tube and half of a spatula of zinc powder is added and the mixture is filtered before sodium hydroxide solution is added drop by drop until excess So the observation for this reaction will be zinc powder will dissolve changes color from brown to green this essentially mean that Fe3 plus is reduced to Fe2 plus ion and zinc dissolve because zinc is oxidized to zinc 2 plus ion and the test for the presence of Fe 2 plus ion NOOH cation test is used when few drops of sodium hydroxide solution is added green precipitate is formed and when excess sodium hydroxide is added the green precipitate is insoluble to confirm the identity of ion 2 plus in the product so now let's write the half equation of oxidation and half equation of reduction now zinc undergo oxidation to zinc 2 plus while fe undergo reduction into fe 2 plus ion so step one write reactant and product is done step two balance atom but both zinc and fe3 plus is both balanced on both side of the equation next we add electron zinc undergo oxidation by losing electron losing electron so the electron is written on the product side fe3 plus undergo reduction by accepting electron to become Fe2 plus ion. So add electron is done. Next, we need to balance the charge since zinc 2 plus is 2 plus, so this is also 2 electron. And for Fe3 plus plus electron, the charge is plus 2, and the product is also plus 2, so the charge is already balanced. Next, we need to combine both equation to write the overall ionic equation and again the electron must be of the same number for the oxidation and reduction half equation for zinc the electron is 2 so for Fe the electron also must be 2 so we times all by 2 so that this electron can be cancelled out 
this is essentially means zinc donate two electron and that two electron is accepted by fe3 plus so we rewrite the equation zinc plus two fe3 plus produce zinc two plus plus two fe two plus so this we can summarize that ion three ion is reduced to ion two ion by gaining electron so it acts as oxidizing agent meanwhile zinc is oxidized to zinc 2 plus ion by losing electron so zinc acts as reducing agent last but not least the formation of fe2 plus and fe3 plus can be confirmed by using three different solution which is potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 solution potassium hexacyanoferrate 3 solution and potassium thiocyanate solution so in the exam you are free to choose which reactant to use as a confirmatory test the very common one to use for fe3 plus will be potassium thiocyanate solution where blood red coloration will be formed with fe3 plus ion this is a very easy example to use as your answer because potassium thiocyanate solution does not share does not show red solution formation for reaction with fe2 plus ion while with potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 solution fe3 plus will form dark blue precipitate while fe2 plus form dark blue precipitate when reacting with potassium hexacyanoferrate 3 solution